Joined now by R.J. Barrett from the New York Knicks. And, R.J., you're the perfect guy to talk to because throughout this last dance, Doc, I have been talking about younger generations, and you're obviously a young star in the league that were you were born after all this stuff happened, which makes me feel really old, but that's okay. Uh, as, you, as, you, as you watch this, what are you surprised by? What are you learning about? What are you seeing for the first time? To me, growing up, like you said, I, I kind of grew up after after all this happened. But for me, it's cool to be able to, to listen to Mike speak and, and hear how he thinks. Because he, to me, he was kind of just like a machine. So to just see, like, you know, whether it's how he came into a franchise and completely changed the culture or, like, his leadership abilities, his work ethic, like, you know, I, I'm soaking it all in. And I'm curious what the stories that you had heard were, because, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm sure everybody hears these stories, but, like, compared to sort of the, the fish story that you heard, how is what you're seeing compared to that? Well, Jordan was always my, my dad's favorite player, so my dad growing up, every day, he would be like, RJ, watch Michael Jordan, like, watch what he does. That man was killer, like, you know, told me to watch him all the time, so just, just to actually, like, now be able to kind of see everything, especially to hear everybody else's perspective, like his teammates and all that, is, is great. The, I keep making the, the old barbershop comparison. It's such a cliche to say it, but it, it's, it's how it goes. One, the old guys on one side, the young guys on the other, and the old guys say, you don't know what this is, and the young guys just roll their eyes. As a young guy, right, for whom Kobe or LeBron would have been the people that you saw, I mean, what's mm -hmm. the comparison like from, from what Jordan put on tape and what you heard about from your dad compared to the, the superstars that you grew up with? I guess I didn't really understand, you know, Jordan fully. Uh -huh. And I think I have a better picture now, and it's just like he had to go up against the bad boys. Like they had Jordan rules, he had to go completely change his body and and do many different things. Like you know, I'm not taking anything away from you know Kobe and LeBron, but like he kind of changed the NBA in a way too. So Jordan's the best player ever. So we're all trying to you know trying to get there, trying to you know trying to surpass him. Is that what you think? You you the best player ever? I mean, is that is that the way you view it? I've always been a LeBron fan. LeBron's always been my favorite player growing up. Uh -huh. But just in terms of, you know, I don't really know the comparisons, but from what I'm seeing right now with Jordan, he, it's, it's, it's tough to, to, to say otherwise. Oh, it's not tough. You can just yell at each other on Twitter and post a bunch of stats and cherry pick, <laughs> cherry pick the things for your guy and just dismiss the things about the other. Mm -hmm. You know how this goes, RJ, man. Talking about yeah. basketball, NBA Twitter, man, it never sleeps, and it's been, it's been fun mm -hmm. to see it play itself out, and I, I appreciate your context. I just want to close with this because we're all hopeful that we get some sports at some point, and, and you're obviously a, a young guy in the league, and I was asking you before we got started, like, what can you do at the moment? So how mm -hmm. are you trying to keep mind and body sharp i actually have you know some of my closest friends with me and we, we work out and, and every day you know just trying to try to stay active trying to you know whether it's we have the hoop in the driveway you're out <laughs> you old know, school shooting there, hoops in the there. driveway <laughs> come on <laughs> yeah man we got to stay active going out in the driveway so that's that's how that's how we're, that's what we're doing. I love it. I, now you you got a good net on them because if you if your bucket doesn't have a good net, man, then you got nothing. You know, like we if like when the no, when the no, net we good. go we ahead, got, we got a good net, man. We got a good net. Good. <laughs> man, we would shoot it for me. You've never played on a bucket with chains on it, have you? Back in the day, if there was chains on it, we played with chains if that's what we had to play with. You never played on a bucket with chains, did you? No, I never play on the bucket of chains. I play on actually outside in the schoolyard with no net. Well, th there's no that rims, too. No net. Uh, this is great. The generational conversations about basketball never cease to uh, be entertaining to me anyway. RJ, I appreciate you taking the time, giving us your thoughts. Stay healthy, and uh, hopefully we see you guys out there sooner than later, all right? Sure. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.